Hey guys, Miss Tracy here. We're back on 76 and we're doing something a little different today. So I'm gonna be showing you some really cool locations that you can build your camp at. And I've also like gone and built a little bit here so I can explain like how things are here, what the enemies are like, what the building is like, and all that stuff and give you some ideas of what you might wanna place down in here. So we're gonna start here on this spot. Toxic actually showed me this. It's right here. This is um like Bolton Greens. It's a golf course, but I don't have it unlocked right now on this character. So way up here, it's by the power plant. So yeah, I'll show you just what I've done here. And I've, I was actually gonna originally build my base and stay here, but there is a bit of a nightmare because there are some super mutants that spawn in back, but I'll show you a trick that actually Toxic taught me too about this spot. So first I'll run around and show you. I mean, obviously I put stuff down, but like these chairs were here, this bench, all this stuff except for the tuba stuff on the table except for the flowers and that plant this stuff right here some stuff here in this dead cow which would turn into like a little sacrifice thing i was able to place a garden out here with the greenhouse and you might be able to put this in your build too if you move your camp over but oh here we go i'll show you what happens now so this is the problem with this place uh oh where is he he's right there Why does his head go off? I didn't shoot him in the head. Okay, so that's the nightmare that I have living here. I've got some turrets up on the roof. Turrets down here. Looks like this one's dead. Uh-oh. Looks like there's still a Super Mutant Primus over there. Can't see it from here. Looks like there's somebody over there fighting him. Okay, I'll take care of this in a second. Okay, now that I've cleaned all that out. So this little line of scarecrows here was actually Toxic's idea, kind of protecting the camp a little bit because they can sit here and beat on these scarecrows and they're relatively cheap to repair. It's been okay, I've had a few get through, but it hasn't been as bad as before I had the scarecrows up. So anyway, a problem with this build, and it's me hard for you to tell, but I have these rugs right here placed down randomly because you can't seem to place stuff down very easily around here. So like when I go to place stuff, it'll usually say here, let's see if I can get something placed. So it's really tricky trying to build around in this area. So I'm trying to like place the cat here and you'll see that it kind of like goes up the wall and goes to the side there. Well, I couldn't put down the cooking station here or like a lot of the other stuff. So I put down a rug first and then I was able to put it on there. So if you do build here, that's a good tip to know. Also, I got a light to glitch up in there. So that was kind of cool. There's also this like cultist looking stuff right here. I put up the one bright candle, but the other candles were here before. And then I added the statues and such. So it has a bed here too. And sometimes there's lamps that spawn in here, which get caught up in my lamps, but they're good copper, so. The best part about this building is the bathroom. I'm super excited to have a toilet that's fixed because it drives me crazy that we have broken toilets in this game. I talk about that a lot. Also has a shower and an actual sink too, which is nice. We can't place those usually. And then that's about it. I mean, that came with this cooking station here and then just random stuff around here. So that's about it for this location. It's just really tricky to build in. You have to use the rug trick to kind of place things down and there are a lot of enemies nearby, but I mean, this is really fun to build in because even though it's difficult, there's like a whole bunch of different things you can do with this place. So I recommend it, but I also recommend being a high level and putting up a lot of turrets. Otherwise, We'll move on. Okay, so for this one, we are here by New Gad. And this is another one of my camps here in a cool place. It's a nice little overlook here. It was pretty tricky to build here because there's multiple levels, but I'll go ahead and show you. Just kind of wandering around a bit. Of course, I had to throw in a bathroom. There's no bathroom here, so. Bathroom. I was able to put a greenhouse out here on the ledge. And this kind of overlooks the ledge, but I can't place anything on the ground down there because I can build up way up high up there. So I'll show you that in a second. So put up the greenhouse. Got my generator hidden over there. Of course, we have our stage. <laughs> it looks kind of cool at night. Uh, go over here. You can build underneath here, but it's very tricky. In fact, this whole build was very tricky in general because every time I placed something down on the floor, it wanted to go up on the roof. So I used a lot of rugs to get stuff to place. And then sometimes I just gave up trying to play stuff. Like I really wanted balloons on these bars, but 
it would just go through the ceiling. So it wasn't very helpful. It has a lot of nice loot here too, plastic. Whiskey. Some fun stuff on the shelves in here. Ignore the dead thing, because mole rats do spawn in these buildings. Stuck some random stuff in there. Why is there a basket up here? Oops. Tried to jump and then I went in that. I must have got bumped when I was killing the mole rat. Stuck. <laughs> That's usually on the ground over here. Now I fall off things a lot and I'm constantly falling in that hole, but I didn't really have any idea of what to put down there. So I just kind of left it. I'm not really staying at this base for forever. So move back up here. It was also tricky to build in here. In fact, I kept putting stuff right here and everything would go through the ceiling. And then one time I was able to place this one plant. So I just left it like that. I wanted to throw a couch in here, but it just kept going up on the roof. So I ended up putting some different stuff on the roof on purpose when I got my rad shower. Come on. There wasn't really a place to put down a bed in there, so I made a little hut back here. And I put my camp, like, right on the rocks, right about there, I think. And I was able to build up top still, so hold on, let me show you that. Or the only way to get there is to walk around unless you like make some kind of stairs down, maybe. So of course I have my creepy cultisy area. I think my punch bowl is empty. There we go. No nuka shine for you right now. It's a safe punch bowl. Well, yeah, that's about it. It's a really cool area. Nice view of New Gad. Um, when I spawn in, I usually spawn in down right there. Sometimes I spawn in on the ground way down below the cliff, and that kind of stinks. You have to run up the side all the way up there, and then up to here and come up there. But overall, it's a cool location for a base. Let me hop down below one more time. Oh, and on my way down, let me tell you that I do get some enemies up here too, so I did end up putting a turret up here. Moving one through. Oh, ho, I almost fell. There. There we go, less stairs. So yeah, that's about it here. Cool location, difficult build. It's all low level enemies, so it's not terrible. I, my turrets did pretty well, but I did have a creature that was my pet that glitched out and wouldn't attack anything and he ended up dying. So that stunk, but it's a fun place to build overall. I like how it turned out, but I am moving on. So I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll move on from here. Okay, so this is the last one I have for you guys. Let me show where we are. Kind of a White Springs, but far enough away that I don't seem to get nuked here. And this is a Nuka Shine spot. So let me show you where that is. It's in here. So I kind of built in here a bit. There's a Nuka Shine bottle. Now let me explain. One of the problems with this place is that this bed is actually not active you can't actually sleep on it i even put a mattress down on top of it like i'll show you here so i even put a mattress down which kind of looked weird but i had it like that will let me place it oh it did let me place it okay and then look if i try to rest on it oh shit this time it worked okay so last time i tried to rest on it it wouldn't let me sleep weird so I built another side house just for sleeping in, and apparently this will work. I don't think you get as much of a bonus from sleeping on a mattress, though. So, let me move on. This has some barrels and a chair, some, like, blank paintings. So I threw up regular paintings. Like, there's another one right underneath this one. But I just put that over it instead because it was all faded out. A fridge, no door, and this drives me crazy. It's a backward sink, and it doesn't work. <laughs> but it's still fun to build in here. I didn't have any, too many problems building in here and it was easy to hang up lights on these little bars here. And it was nice with the holes in the roof. I was able to like put my electric in here. Otherwise, we'll move on. So this is the, actually the pre-built structure and then there's also this outhouse that was built here too. Little skull guy. Put up my vending machines, of course. And now I have a Mirelurk King who I swear I just saw walk over here. 
What are you doing over here, buddy? Oh, speaking of which, I had a moment the other day. Let me show you. So I used to have my camp box on the back of this truck, which would be my Meyer kind of wander around here. And this vehicle right here can blow up. It blew up and damn near killed my Meyer Lurk. So make sure you're careful about how much you place near this truck. This is able to be blown up. This one is not. Shoot it just fine. I'm only going to shoot that one once. But yeah, you see that one will blow up on you. So I put my electrical back there. Added some water here since there's really no water nearby. And then there's this nice little like... I don't know if you want to call it like a cave. Just kind of... It's not really a cave because there's no roof. But this nice little area here kind of tucked here under the cliff that's where i put my cultisy stuff free sap and there's this tree here with the deer i put the little pot under the deer and then you can actually i mean i don't know what you could do with this but you can remove that tree and the deer will just float there so i tried like hanging it from a basketball hoop and a couple other random messed up things but i couldn't really get it to line up right so i just left the tree there now I always have to have a bar, so this time I put it in my greenhouse. And then I moved the greenhouse from the last build with all that stuff in it, and look what it did. It put the stuff like in the floor. I thought it was cool, so I just kind of left it. Little area up here. These bushes were here. I tried to get like this rock and this branch to move, but I kept actually making the blackberry bushes move, so I gave up on that. Now I did make a regular house here because I wanted a real bed for XP and a real bathroom. Indoor plumbing is the best. Love Mr. Pebbles. Now I was really bummed because when I first found this area, I was like, oh, this is so cool. There's an extractor nearby, but I could not line up my camp so that I had the camp, like the cabin and this extractor, but there is an extractor here. So if you end up wanting to build there, why is there XP on my screen? Weird. So yeah, it's also a good view when it nukes. It's pretty sweet over there. Kind of give you a bird's eye view of everything down there. So now this is all I have to show you guys for this video. I'd like to know what you think of this. If you're actually enjoying me just showing you my camps and these weird places and explaining the weird stuff I've come across while building. I hope the tricks like with the rug thing and whatnot can help you out. So please leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this kind of video. And if you guys do, I will make some more. Otherwise, please subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.